Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another rugby related video. Today we are putting a big debate on my channel to rest. Well, it seems like a big debate. I, I still get comments daily about this on this video. In fact, these two videos have been two of my well, two of my most popular videos in my, my rugby related uh, playlist. Now, today we're settling the debate between what is a goose step and what is a skip step. Now a skip step is only a move that certain players are going to make. Certain shifty, they've got to be shifty, they've got to be quick, nimble on their feet. If you're not light enough, you're not even going to attempt this step. A goose step on the other hand is a stop start, it's a stop and go, it's a dead leg they call it in the NFL. A goose step is a sudden, sudden burst of acceleration from nothing that's going to leave your defender for dead, hopefully. On the other hand, a skip step is when you're at full pace. You've got a defender coming up to you, you're at full pace, you don't want to slow down, you don't want to try and do a left foot step or a right foot step. All you do is sort of hop in the air and swerve to either the left or the right so, you, so that the main thing about the skip step is that you don't lose pace. Now in the most recent All Blacks vs Springboks rugby game that I saw, I saw both these steps done to absolute perfection. And that is what I'm going to bring to you today. So the first step is by a guy called Sevu Reese. He plays on the right wing for the All Blacks and he does a goose step. Forward comes Femulan, bounces off him, back to Smith. Advantage to the no. All Blacks. Moenga, well, that's one way of getting the ball to Sevu Reese. Oh. And here goes no. Reese. Who... And Barrett, Barrett with support from George Bridge. Try for the All Blacks. Wonderful piece of skill. This is it here from Richard Moenga. He looks to kick long, it changes his decision. And then a stop goal from Sevu Reese leaves Mapimpe for dead. And look at the support play. The second step was by the other right wing for the Springboks, believe it or not, Cheslin Colby, an absolute superstar in the making. He does a skip step. Colby does receive the ball. I don't think he was expecting. Colby! The brilliance of the wing. One on one. Beats Bowden Barrett. Still, Cheslin Colby. What a runner he is in broken play. He's getting help from the field with half declared. This is Colby. Just look how it, there's nothing on here. But he's absolutely electric when he gets the ball in hand. He still can't be tackled. He's got about two more tackle breaks left in him. There's one. There's wow. Yeah, swear to God, I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane. It's quite go get it like me. 